Hi, I'm Kerry Mayu with Phoenix Restoration again in this video. We are going to uh, show you how to replace the drive motor for the desk and rotor. Um, with the front cover already removed, but the only tool you need is a 1 8 inch uh, Allen wrench. Uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and, and disconnect the power lead for the motor. And then next, we're going to reach in and disconnect the tension spring which gives the the drive motor its tension. Uh, so we'll remove this. We'll just set that aside. And then next we have to remove this one screw with the eighth inch Allen. And we'll go ahead and uh, loosen it up. And once it's loose it should, should come out fairly easily. Uh, there's one note that the it's not only a screw but it's also a wavy washer that must be reinstalled when you go to put it back in. Once you get the screw out, let's reach in and we'll pivot the motor sideways and disengage it from the unit. Now to reinstall it, uh, when you receive the new one, it will come in as a kit already pre-assembled. So all you have to do is simply just, just drop it into place and then make sure that the back is engaged uh, in the hold down and then next we'll reinstall the screw with the wavy washer. Now this is the tricky part because you can start the screw but at the same time you have to line up the washer so that it does not bind in the screw uh, so that the screw can actually tighten all the way down. And once you get the screw and the washer in place with the Allen wrench, go ahead and go tighten it down. And next we have to reinstall the tension spring. First thing we'll do is we'll, we'll slide the eyelet of the spring onto the bottom plate of the drive motor. There's a small hook. And then from there, there's also a small hook on the blower bracket. And we'll slide the We'll slide the eyelet onto it. Once that's done, it's in place. Just give it a push to make sure it does engage. After you do that, and simply plug, plug the motor lead back in, and then you're all set.